welcome. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Louise Delise, artist and teacher. And in this video, we're going to be using charcoal to draw these three gorgeous, cute little kittens. And I'm sure we could all agree that they're certainly cute. Let's get straight to it. Here's what we'll be using today. Some powdered charcoal, a stick of willow charcoal. This one's foil wrap, a blending stump, a charcoal pencil, a soft brush and the kneadable eraser. If you'd like to know how to make the charcoal powder, you can watch one of my other videos and I'll put a link in the description below. So let's start as we always do by loosely mapping out the shapes within the work. So we've got the head straight in there. I'm only adding these details here simply because this is charcoal and the more we work uh, from the bottom to the top of the page, the more risk we have of picking up that charcoal with the with your hands. Okay, so let's work down to the body. Let's get the little cat's bodies in. Approximate position of where we think they might go. Them, have a quick look at them. Is it working so far? If it is, leave it and proceed with some shading. So we'll come in here with the powdered charcoal and we'll start to apply some tonal graduation to these little kitties and as we're doing this you can see we're starting to create some form here and you see just by adding this tone how we're giving the illusion that these kitties have depth they have form now this little kitty on the right we're going to give him some some little tiger stripes so we'll come in quite dark there in certain areas but we are overall compositionally the cat in the middle will be the lightest in tone the kitty on the right will have some dark stripes coming through and the kitty on the left as you're looking at it will be more of a grey tone more of a mid-tone coming here with a few shadows underneath you see how that immediately places the kittens build up the tonal graduation even more now here um, this is obviously voiceover on here what I'm doing but when I actually was creating it I actually stopped to go and make a cup of tea here and when I got back I forgot to to take that um, section there where I put the eyes in unfortunately so <laughs> but the good news is you do see we put the eyes in on the other two. <laughs> so we'll work these ears up a little bit. And you'll see now that we're using the charcoal pencil. So now we can come in and define these areas a little bit more. We loosely place them. Now we're defining them more. Moving them around a little bit. Millimeter to the left, millimeter to the right. Where should they be? And once we're more certain on the positioning, then we come in with the charcoal pencil and we indicate the positions there. Coming in here, building up a little bit more gradual tone, working on the face of this lovely little kitty in the middle here. As we come in on top of the willow, on top of the powdered charcoal with the charcoal pencil, to go a little bit darker in tone but remembering we're keeping this kitty in the middle the lightest in tone so we'll come in with the kitty on the right and work over the darks so we're going even darker here creating the illusion that this kitty is coming forward in front of the kitty in the middle working up the eyes the little nose Doing the little tiger stripes here on his face. Oh, the lines there around the eyes might be a little bit thick. We'll come in and resolve them a little bit later. But while we're holding the, the charcoal pencil, we'll just come in here. Keep adding another layer onto these little tiger stripes. 
come in there with the kneadable eraser, putting a few lights back in there. Soften that off with the brush. Coming in again with the kneadable eraser, cleaning the drawing up. You see how I just created the, the top of the head there by using the kneadable eraser. By getting rid of any mid-tones I didn't want at the top of the head. We're utilising all the materials that we have here, even though we're basically using willow, but we're using it in different ways. We're using the stick willow to start the procedure, to loosely place the kiddies. Then we came in with the powdered charcoal. Now we're using the charcoal pencil, the brush and the eraser. This is lesson nine of the 10 week drawing course. And if you've been watching each lesson, you will know that we started off just using the willow charcoal for the first couple of lessons. Then we introduced the powdered charcoal. We did more eraser work before we even introduced the charcoal pencil. And then in the last couple of lessons, we were using the charcoal paint. This video, lesson nine, we're utilizing all those different materials in this video. So you should have a good understanding of how flexible willow is, how to use it correctly. Understanding what the willow's capabilities are and how you can utilize those different capabilities to give you different effects in the work. You know, look at the softness that we've created on the little kitty on the left here. In this little kitty you can see it's got a real softness to it as opposed to the little kitty on the right who's got the tiger stripes so continuing on creating even more softness this gorgeous little kitten here and we'll come in there with the kneadable eraser take a little bit of that the surface dust off there before we come in with the blending stump create even more softness here with the blending stump knowing that the blending stump is going to remove a little bit of that dark tones we've got on there and we'll come in with a kneadable eraser around the eyes get a little bit of light back in there in certain areas I'm coming in here to tidy up the eyes here and because I want to get rid of that charcoal pencil I'm coming here with a battery operated eraser instead of the kneadable just for that little section there and there it goes little little bright eyes working up the eye area a little bit here defining the nose just a little bit more and I think you'll agree we've achieved what we set out to do, which was to draw three cute little kittens. And here they are. And you can see you can do this quite easily. Practice, practice. So if you have enjoyed the video today, please give it a thumbs up. You know, there's lots of uh, content on my channel that is designed to help you improve your own practice whether you are a hobbyist or whether you are moving towards becoming an artist whatever your situation there's something for you on this channel so thank you for watching today please give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and of course subscribe click notifications so that you don't miss future uploads i'm going to leave you today with a short slideshow of some of the other lessons in this 10 week course and I look forward to seeing you next week. Mm -hmm.